That was nothing short of miraculous. UCLA women's soccer earns the program's second ever national championship and the 100th 20th all time for UCLA athletics. Go Bruins. What a miraculous comeback. Arguably, I think what they said on the broadcast, the biggest comeback ever in a national championship match. And not only was it the biggest multi goals in the match, it was the fact that they did it down 10, down with 10 minutes to play. They had two goals to overcome, one in the final 16 seconds. And they win it in overtime. What did Julie Foudy say? You want goals in overtime. And the winner by Mary Carmen Reyes. But let's get rocking and rolling. Hey, everybody. I'm Zach Anderson, Yoxheimer. Thanks for tuning in to this special edition of Locked On UCLA, the Women's Soccer Championship Celebration Edition with these immediate, immediate reaction following the Bruins' national championship win 3-2 to two in overtime over the premier women's soccer program in college women's soccer. UNC is the premier program, and UCLA took it to them, kept them waiting as the Bruins come back with Marguerite Ozasa, who comes through and gets the UCLA championship run in her first year. Yes, Marguerite Ozasa, who gets the Bruins ready to go You had the likes of multiple goals. You had Lexi Wright getting the assist from Sunshine Fontes. And then Ray Lynn Turner on the corner kick with just under 20 seconds remaining from Adley Lemos as the Bruins tied it miraculously at the end. Watching the game, you can never see head coach really disheveled. The team getting down, they seemed truly together. Lauren Brisky, they looked stunned, yes, after a couple of amazing goals scored by Avery Patterson. Those were fantastic. One strong hitter, the other one popping it the other way. Yet the Bruins, for some reason, you kind of panned on their face. They didn't seem disheveled. They didn't seem down. They seemed ready to go. And then for whatever reason, whenever they got down, they kept pushing. They got down a goal. They were pushing, had an open opportunity multiple times during set pieces, especially on the corner kicks. UCLA had opportunities to score, and eventually they popped one home to tie the game practically at the death of the match. And with no golden goal, it took a late 107th minute winner from Mary Carmen Reyes, who got the win. And with the assist from Ali Cook, the Bruins come through and come from behind and snatch it in front of a very pro North Carolina crowd. And Cary, North Carolina, that is less than a 30 minute drive, no traffic. Less than 30-minute drive from North Carolina's campus in Chapel Hill. So UCLA in front of a near-packed house, very awesome environment, a crowd cheering on the practical home side. This is like Oklahoma in the Women's College World Series, right? When you see the Sooners get all that crazy support because Oklahoma City and Norman is not too far away. Well, this was even closer between Cary and Chapel Hill. And the North Carolina fans showed out. There's quite a few Bruins fans making their voices heard for UCLA grinding it back, getting the win for their first-year head coach, coming back from last year, getting upset in the first round, turning it around, and winning the Natty 3-2 to two in the biggest comeback in a national championship match in the women's side ever, down two in the final 10 minutes, down in the final seconds, and the grit don't quit for the UCLA women getting that national championship run. Overall, a remarkable start-to-finish run for the Bruins, and it took when they swept Duke in North Carolina the first time, mind you, also in comeback fashion against the Tar Heels, not in as as dramatic fashion in September. Three months ago, the Bruins were down a goal, came back to beat North Carolina in regulation in their home field at in, in North Carolina, and that's when UCLA got put on the map. Hey, they beat Duke, they beat North Carolina, and they, read the, they rode the wave of being number one. A couple of little hiccups here and there at the end of the regular season, and then kind of in the early stages of Pac-12 play on the road, but that that set themselves up for success. For UCLA, it was a fun ride, and overall for the Bruins, they go 22-2-1 in route in route to a championship, including they beat Northern Arizona on Veterans Day 4-1, survived a penalty kick shootout against UCF Central Florida in a 1-1 draw where the Bruins won 3-0 in PKs, beat Northwestern 2-0, beat Virginia 2-1 in overtime, just wiped the floor with Alabama on Friday. That was a beatdown, especially in that second half. 
And then for the third time in this postseason run for the Bruins, they go to they go beyond regulation for the second time in overtime. They get the win against another ACC foe. They took out Virginia earlier, beat North Carolina in front of an absolute packed house. Great one. And it's Mary Carmen Reyes on that ball that got poked away. And then just that somehow sweeping kick. I didn't even think the angle was there. And she scores. Yeah, I, I thought this was a, a shirt to bust out, right? The champions made here. Let's turn it on. Yeah, I'm wearing it backwards if you're watching on YouTube. And if you're listening, you can't see it. I have UCLA Bruins. I'm wearing my shirt backwards because, yeah, let's let's pull it the right way. Let's see if I can get this right. Yeah, champions made here. Go Bruins as UCLA in remarkable fashion. One of the more remarkable championship games you'll ever watch in any sport with quite the comeback. Mind you, all the excitement, not without a flurry of chances in the first half for either side, but all the excitement came in the last practical 30 minutes of regulation. It was a 59th minute goal by Avery Patterson for North Carolina. Then her 75th minute goal put the Bruins on notice. Uh Uh-oh, there's 15 minutes left and their season is on dire straits if they want to be a national champion. Well, the heart of the champion, question no more. You could see on Twitter people saying, ah, UCLA always chokes on the biggest stage. Yeah, no, calm yourself. Jim Barrero, I think I saw that tweet. Calm yourself. UCLA comes back and defeats North Carolina in overtime. So many tweets. You can say on the biggest stage, regardless of the coach, no. UCLA, their first national championship in women's soccer in nearly nine years when they won their first one back in 13. North Carolina was searching for their first one since 2012. And it's UCLA who comes back, gets the miraculous comeback. Raylan Turner on the corner, leaping up above everybody. It was so stunning, I couldn't even believe it. I, I'm a type of person who loves crazy last-second comebacks. Whatever it is, whatever the sport, you keep it on to the very end. You stay there till the end. You don't leave your seat. And the Bruins made those people who kept their TVs on this game, who kept sitting and watching, whether they're listening, watching, whatever it may be, sitting in the stands cheering on the Bruins, come back and win with the Raylan Turner equalizer at practically the depth of the match in the 90th minute with 16 seconds. Remember, in college soccer, there is no stoppage time. I know there's a lot of World Cup fever right now. There is no stoppage time. So with that last-second goal practically by Turner with about 16 ticks left, the Bruins get the game-tying goal. It was Lexi Wright who started it off on a big shot from Sunshine Fontes. Wright, boom, gets the goal to start the comeback. Then Turner gets the goal, and eventually it's Mary Carmen Reyes who came on and was able to get the goal for UCLA in stunning, come-from-behind fashion. 3-2, to two, UCLA takes down North Carolina in the national championship match. What a way to grab, steal the college cup in the grasp of someone else's hands, and UCLA snatches it right from the jaws of victory. And yeah, why not bust out the new decorations here? Go Bruins, the blanket. You got the fours up on the other side. Yeah, let's get the ready for the eight clap. We'll get to that in just a moment as UCLA comes from behind, gets the dub in miraculous fashion. Just straight come, just it's ridiculous. People who have watched the team all year have known that this is a team that was destined for greatness, for success. And eventually when you have, you need to showcase your heart of the champion, being the heart of the champion, and especially in postseason soccer play, you, you just never know which way the ball is going to bounce, and you have to win, as they did early in the early rounds in PKs. They had to come and beat Virginia in overtime, and they took care of business what seemingly looked like pretty easily against the likes of Alabama 3-0, including two second-half goals, against a North Carolina team who once led 3-0 against Florida State in their semifinal and allowed two late goals. They allowed two late goals to the Bruins on this evening in early December, December the 5th, and get yourselves up for UCLA because the Bruins are champions overall. They are spectacular. What a run for UCLA in the first year of their new head coach. Because, w- w- wow, it was, there's no words. There are no words for UCLA and their crazy, crazy comeback. It just gets you. It just gets you crazy and excited because UCLA was absolutely fantastic in those last 10 minutes when they needed to here on Locked On UCLA. It just it just gets you crazy. And before we get that final eight clap going, just let you know this OmahaSteaks.com. They've got a, a sale going on. You can get 30% off your order 
and with the steak experts at Omaha Steaks, they want you to get that special curated gift package. Take the gift work out of holiday gift wrapping and make you a holiday hero, just like Mary Connor and Reyes and the UCLA Bruins coming back to win this national championship. Just use the word locked on at checkout to get $30 off your order with their assortment of mouthwatering favorites. They've got butcher's cut filet mignon, air chilled boneless chicken, ultra juicy burgers, everything in between, and their comfort meals are ready in the flash. Once again, use the co- promo code locked on at checkout for omahasteaks.com to get an extra $30 off your order. Minimum order may be required. There was no minimum order for UCLA to win this likes of a national champion. Yeah, there's the real code. I was so excited. I was pressing the wrong thing. So yeah, there is the likes of Omaha Steaks. See right there, $30 off your Omaha Steaks. Dot com promo code locked on if you're looking on YouTube there you go omahasteaks.com $30 off and choose the promo code locked on Bruins get that come from behind national championship victory quite the win for UCLA in their first year under their new coach Marguerite Ozasa Ozasa who comes through and gets the Bruins in the first year under the new tutelage gets the win, and comes from behind. Just be excited, UCLA fans. Champions made here. Let's go as they keep going well over triple digits in national champions, 120, as UCLA gets the dub. Get your hands in the air, Bruins fans, as we do a celebratory eight clap. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. U-C-L-A. UCLA, fight, fight, fight. Let's go. UCLA, national champions. Go Bruins! This has been the excited championship celebration for UCLA women's soccer. 3-2 victory champions over North Carolina and the NCAA women's soccer world. Go Bruins! And hit that subscribe button. Give some love. I'm Zach Anderson, Yoxheimer. Good night. Transfer portal news, basketball news, all to come here on Locked On UCLA. In the meantime, let's celebrate these UCLA women with this national championship. Go Bruins, baby! Quite the comeback. Keep believing, baby. This has been Locked On UCLA. Go Bruins.